Criminal charges have been filed this week against an Indianapolis man accused of firing more than a dozen shots at an IMPD officer over the weekend. Fox 59's Jesse Wells explains how it all started and why the suspect claimed he didn't realize he was shooting at police. According to court records, the situation started here at 21st and Emerson, where police were searching for a stolen car that was spotted on cameras in this area. After an officer followed the suspect down this dead end street, police claim the suspect got out of the car and fired at least 16 shots. A stray bullet tore a hole in the side of this home. Another round damaged this car. More than a dozen gunshots startled neighbors here on Sutton Street early Saturday morning. I was we heard of something just going off like bang, 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 bang. The woman whose car was hit by the gunfire asked not to be identified, but says she's thankful no one got hurt. Police claim all the shots were fired by the suspect and none by their officers. We were scared. We were really scared. We didn't know what was going on. 26-year-old Stephen Ramos is now charged with criminal recklessness and pointing a firearm. According to this affidavit, after being arrested, Ramos said he feared he was being followed by people looking to kill him because threats had recently been made against his life. While he admitted to shooting a fully marked squad car, Ramos insisted he didn't know he was shooting at police, and once he realized they were police and he was safe, he tossed two handguns on the ground and surrendered. It just is a stark reminder that our officers are out there up against a great amount of violence. Whatever the suspect's motives may have been, Indy FOP President Rick Snyder insists the case reflects a growing trend of attacks on police. He claims nationwide the number of police officers shot in the line of duty has gone up dramatically since 2020. I think it's very troubling for our officers and their families when we do see these attacks on our folks on officers that are out here trying to keep our communities safe. This senseless acts that are going on is absolutely ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Finally, the suspect is being held on a $40,000 bond, although a bail review hearing has been set for next week. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Two Muncie team 